Alright, cool. Yeah, well, my name is Chuck. Um, I'm from England. And uh, yeah, I'm from London. And um, I'm an artist. So I think, like, I was always interested in doing something creative because even when I started going to college, it was for like graphic design. So I, I guess that's when I put sort of in, it. in it, just doing, even if it was something to just pass time or get through college, it was still creative. And then like working in fashion and traveling with that, just being exposed to like both sides. I think I was attracted to the creative industry because you could just <clears throat> find your own lane, you know, and carve out something out of being creative. And, um, yeah, I, I found, like, the the most creative people were just, like, themselves. So I felt like trying to, like, go in another world weren't really my kind of way. But I respected it, and I still respect it. Like, some people just don't see that that way, but... Yeah, I like the creative side. Yeah, I guess I realised that I wanted to like pursue art as an as a career and not just a hobby. When it was like crunch time, when it was like lowest to the low, I don't know what I want to do, but I don't just want to sit here. Um, and you know. That's all. I, I guess it just, I just it just took time of despair, time of real, you know, pain where it's like, no, nah, like, what do I actually want to do? Like, I can get a job, I can try and get a job, but what job do I want to do? It's like, oh, I'd like to be paid for creating something. And then um, I think at first I was just like painting to release, to express myself, for myself, to be honest and then like evolved into showing people, which evolved into like making something out of it. But um, that then led me into trying to write screenplays and trying to do sculptures, get into installations. And uh, before I actually started painting and uh, wanting to show paintings to everyone or to the world, it was like, I was interested in these like multi-century installations. So I felt that when I went to a gallery and like my little sister was always my like entry point into art because she's an artist and we'd go to galleries together and um, we would never leave with a piece of art but we'd leave with like a memory and an experience. So I always felt that if I was ever gonna show art and welcome people into a space. I just want them to leave with a cool memory, like a wicked experience. That's what got me into like, oh, you know, let's try to do something interactive or immersive. My son, you know, is my everything. My son motivates me every day, every minute. My family, just standard, everyone in my family. Um, I've always, yeah, wanted to carry everyone on my back. I like the weight, I like the pressure. I feel like I'm better under pressure. And uh, so that just motivates me to, you know, lead by example, set the right path. Yeah, inspiration, I get a lot of inspiration from traveling um, online. I feel like, the more people I meet, especially like since um, like getting my own studio and then being in a complex with other creatives and seeing what they're doing, I always see people taking it to the next level. And uh, it just inspires me to try and innovate my work and try and feel like, cool, like this is all right, but what's harder, you know what I'm saying? What's next? So I'm always inspired by other artists that I see mostly online and um, traveling, just seeing new places, parts of the world. Um, yeah, so for about like two years now, I've been living from making artwork and like I feel 
proud, proud to say that before I was working in fashion and I'd done that from when I was like 18. And I always felt like it was a great opportunity. It's, it's, it's that the biggest blessing, but um, I didn't feel like it was a, a, a path that can be followed by hard work or, or by like what you put in is what you get out. So creating art and finding a way and making a way is like really how much effort you put in is usually how rewarding the end product is. So yeah, for around two years now. The mo one of the most valuable tips someone told me was it's not always about your work. It's also, I don't know, I think he said something like 60 or 70 percent is the work and like 30 or 40 percent is how you present it and uh just like seeing that that idea that like okay i've made this piece but like how do i how do i want to present it because that's also a piece of the art mm -hmm. and how do i want people to experience this and um when i started thinking about that 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 was really like uh I think elevated my opinion of my work because it was just a novel process and I loved the process. So it just like stretched out the process even longer, which made me like, cool, yeah, made me feel good. For me, it's Biggie. I know my boy Toby's gonna be on to me because he's Tupac forever and like, he's, you know what I'm saying? I love Tupac. But for me, just like Biggie's wavy wavy flow and just what he said and for me more bangers that I personally listen to is Biggie still. Um, it's probably the green, khaki green or a deep, deep green, yeah. Uh, maybe Spirited Away or um, yeah probably, ah I don't even know, bro. But yeah, I like I like that. Um, oh, what's that one that I watched recently? With my little boy. It's one of them bait, like Disney one. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna say Spirited, Spirited Away. Waking up, you know what I'm saying? My little boy, going to play football. Yeah. Take him over the pitch, come back, spend time as a family, cook dinner. Um, uh, and just have like family games, you know, and everyone's just vibing. Have a wine, you know, have a drink with my mom, have a drink with, with everyone. And um, yeah, just seasoned family time. Perfect. Invite someone personally, Thierry Henry, Rothko, because I just need to know what's going on and he's, how he's thinking. And, um, boy, you know what I'm saying? I say, you know, maybe a classic like Hendrix, but at the same time, you know, Diddy would be cool. You know what I'm saying? Probably Diddy, Thierry, yeah, Rothko. Um, happiness, uh, not giving up, um, seeing something through to the end. Beauty, I don't know, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, I guess, you know what I'm saying? So things just being attracted to something. Love is everything, you know what I'm saying? Love is life.